They both roar at you, but in completely different ways. One unfurls its power like a finely tuned symphony, smooth, balanced, precise, almost surgical in its delivery. The other punches you in the chest, a four-cylinder engineering explosion, unleashing torque spikes like a rocket boot strapped to an engine block. On paper, one has more cylinders, six of them spinning in perfect harmony, the other just four. Yet between them lies one of the most fascinating comparisons in modern automotive performance. BMW's S58 inline six versus Mercedes-AMG's M139 four-cylinder. These are not just engines, they are statements. They represent two very different philosophies of performance, two engineering cultures, and two very different answers to the same question. How do you make an engine feel alive in the 21st century? This is not a simple horsepower contest. This is a clash of ideologies. This is the story of BMW S58 versus Mercedes M139. Inline six versus AMG's best four cylinder. For over a century, the world has debated the merits of engine layouts, V8s, V12s, V6s, boxer engines, even rotaries. But for a long time, only one architecture stood above the rest for balance, smoothness, and character, the inline six. BMW understood this instinctively. While others chased cylinder counts, BMW doubled down. The result? A lineage of engines that delivered not just power, but emotion. Engines like the S54 and S55 became cult legends because they felt alive, not just tuned. But time marched on, emissions tightened, turbocharging became inevitable. BMW's answer was the B58, a 3-liter turbocharged inline-six that proved the brand could evolve without losing soul. And then, for the M division, they took the B58, learned from decades of motorsport and high-stress abuse, and created something truly extraordinary. The S58. Stronger. Colder. More responsive. More enduring. Twin monoscroll turbochargers, a closed deck block, reinforced oiling systems, race-grade cooling. In the M3 and M4, it produces over 500 horsepower and does so with a mechanical confidence that few engines ever achieve. This engine doesn't just deliver power, it sings. It doesn't just rev, it commands. The S58 is not only one of BMW's greatest engines, it's one of the greatest inline-six engines ever built. Meanwhile, across the Autobahn, another engineer's anthem was rising. Mercedes AMG had long been known for its throaty V8s, burly, muscular, unforgettable. But times changed, downsizing, turbocharging, efficiency mandates. The world wanted smaller engines that still felt big. So AMG did something bold. They didn't tone down their V8s. They invented one of the most powerful four-cylinder engines ever put into a production car. That engine was the M139. At first glance, it seems impossible. A four-cylinder engine producing nearly as much power as some V8s. But this is no ordinary four-cylinder. It's the culmination of every turbocharging trick AMG could muster. High-pressure turbochargers. Direct injection that rivals race engines a crank and block structure that doesn't buckle under torque. The claim to fame? The M139 has held titles like highest specific output per liter of any production four-cylinder engine. It's tight, it's fierce, and when it spins up, it doesn't just make power, it explodes with it. In cars like the AMG A45 and CLA45, the M139 rewrote what a small engine could do. And suddenly, the question wasn't whether more cylinders were better. It was whether a four-cylinder could outperform engines that had traditionally dominated performance cars. At the heart of this comparison is ideology. 
Biomedodius S58 is rooted in balance and harmony, six cylinders firing in an even rhythm. Mechanical symmetry that makes acceleration feel like a steady crescendo. A note that climbs without harsh edges, a torque curve that rewards revs, a power delivery that feels alive instead of frantic. It's an engine built from the ground up to be experienced, not just used. The Mercedes M139, on the other hand, is about acceleration in the shortest possible time. Explosion after explosion of turbocharged force. A tiny displacement stretched to impossible levels of output. Quick throttle response, high boost, maximum torque as early as possible. Where the S58 feels like a long-distance champion, smooth yet strong, the M139 feels like a sprinter. Violent, explosive, instant. Both philosophies are valid. Both make enormous power. But they feel completely different when squeezed. One is refined and precise. The other is raw and unrelenting. Now, let's talk numbers. Stock, the BMW S58, delivers around 473 to 503 horsepower depending on tune. Torquey figures are healthy, delivery is linear, and the engine has shown an impressive ability to handle big upgrades while remaining reliable. Tuners routinely push the S58 into the 600 plus horsepower range on stock internals with upgraded cooling, intake, and software, all without catastrophic failure. In the real world, the S58's strength isn't just its power, it's its predictability. Once you learn how it makes power, you can chase it higher and higher without banking on miracle parts. The Mercedes M139, meanwhile, pushes similar power figures from a much smaller base. Depending on trim, the M139 delivers 400 to 430 plus horsepower stock. And thanks to AMG's engineering and high-pressure turbo systems, it is extremely responsive down low. In terms of tuning, this engine responds extremely well to boost, increase, and fueling support. But the potential gains are often limited more by cooling and exhaust back pressure than raw strength. In short, both engines can make serious power. But the S58's architecture gives it a broader platform for extreme builds, especially when heat management is addressed. Performance isn't just peak numbers, it's reliability. It's how the engine behaves when you're not chasing the stopwatch. The S58 was designed with endurance in mind. Its closed deck block and aggressive cooling system were engineered not just for speed, but for longevity. Drivers report high mileage with minimal issues when maintenance is respected. Heat soak is well controlled. Oiling systems are robust. In short, the S58 can be driven hard, day in, day out, and live to tell the tale. The M139, for all its fury, is more temperamental by design. High-pressure turbo systems run heat, duty cycles are ruthless, and race-like behavior means that abuse on track for extended periods can expose the limitations of a four-cylinder layout under extreme stress. That's not to say the engine is unreliable, it isn't. But it doesn't have the same safety margin that the S58's overbuilt design provides. In daily driving, the M139 is smooth and quick, but sustained abuse rewards respect, not recklessness. Anyone who's owned or driven both will tell you this. The S58 has a character that grows on you. The six-cylinder sound, even under boost, is rich, layered, and evocative. It doesn't scream, it bears its soul. The harmonic balance of six cylinders resonates differently, almost musical. The M139, in contrast, sounds like a precision machine on adrenaline. It's sharp, aggressive, and edgy. More mechanical whine than melodic growl, less harmonic richness, more brute response. Again, neither is worse, they just excite different parts of your brain. One caresses the senses, the other hits you with visceral impact.
Now, let's answer the question every viewer wants validated. Which engine is better? The honest answer is, it depends on what you want. If you want an engine that feels alive in every gear, responds predictably under tune, can handle high horsepower builds, sounds rich and characterful, excels on the track with endurance. Then the BMW S58 is your weapon of choice. It's not just power, it's power with precision, power with balance, power with soul. If you want an engine that delivers explosive performance out of a small package, showcases cutting-edge turbo tech, feels instant from idle to redline, and rewrites what a four-cylinder can do, then the Mercedes M1 39 is a tour de force. It's brutal, it's edgy, it's unforgettable. One is a master class in refinement. The other is engineering aggression pushed to the limit. Both are brilliant in their own right. But the real difference lies in how they make you feel behind the wheel. This battle isn't just about cylinders boost or displacement. It's about worldview. So, what do you think? Is the inline six still the pinnacle of engine design or has AMG's M139 proven that brute turbo force can rival tradition? Tell us in the comments. And if you love deep dives into engineering, culture, and the engines that define eras, subscribe to Past Pistons, because here we don't just talk about engines. We bring them to life, one roar at a time.